That's a Corrado. As I was filming cars leaving a recent Cars and Coffee meet, this car pulls into the parking lot. A 1990 Volkswagen Corrado. Here in Florida, we don't see many 90s Volkswagens on the roads. Corrados are very rare, especially in this condition. I got to take a closer look at the car and speak with Omar, who just moved to Florida from New Jersey, my home state. Omar, what year is this Corrado? It's a 1990 Corrado, and it was a G60 converted to VR6 OBD1. Converted to a VR6? Yes, sir. Can you pop the hood for us? Sure. Is that a carbon fiber wrap on the hood? No, that's a carbon fiber hood itself. It's a real carbon fiber yeah, hood, real carbon fiber ladies and gentlemen. The real deal. Yes, sir. No Absolutely wrap. beautiful. And the VR6 engine on display. Is that OBD1? Have you dynoed it at all? No, no. Well, at least not, I haven't. Ever since I purchased it, I haven't. Do you have any idea how fast this will go to 60? Mm. Not really. Never... These were quick cars back in the day. Yes, they were. I had a Jetta GLI, a 90 Jetta GLI. Yes. And I loved my GLI. I should yes, never sir. sold that car. But yeah, this I is... Own, a... I own about three of them, and I got rid of them also before I purchased we... the Corrado. At least you have a Corrado. Yes. Never sell this car. I almost yeah, did. On don't the way, do it. I almost did on the way moving down to Florida. Don't do I almost it. Almost did. You'll never see it again. Yes. Yes, that's for you sure. You can't find them. No, very hard. Um, this will this will catch a, a good price right now because they're just mm -hmm. very hard to find. So, how long have you owned the car? You said you got it from someone own, you know. I own it for about four and a half years now, and has always been garage kept. After it was garage kept by uh, the previous owner. So, did you do this hood? No, it came just the so way you, it is. Just so the they it is. sold what it I to did, you. How I much did was, you pay for this? I paid seventy five hundred at that time. So you did all right. It was, it was well worth it. You don't have any problems with it, right? No. Well, the only problem I do have is that there is a vacuum leak somewhere in there. It's just I haven't been able to have the time to... So you do all the work yourself? And when I can, yes. When I can, yes. I try to, I try to do everything myself. We have VW shops down here. So oh, yeah. how long have you been living in Florida? About two months now. Two months. Yeah. We have VW shops down Beautiful. here. So That's you can find an import shop. That's the reason why I came down today to find out some information. You'll so find that, uh... someone to work on this. All right. Well, thank you, Omar, for talking to us about your car. This no is problem. an amazing find, especially since I'm an old GLI owner. Yes, it's just like a big deal. I remember these things screaming around back in the 90s, and I could never afford this car. This car back in 1990 was about $25,000. Yes. And that was a lot of money back then for a two-seater. So. Very expensive car back in the day. Absolutely love it. Yeah, my car had the same, these same rectangle headlights. Set up right, yeah. Hey, uh, watch it down here with this car. Oh yeah. Try to keep it in the garage, because it won't be there long. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is Omar and his amazing, stunning Volkswagen Corrado.